This is a demo of what you will be making till the end of the video. So this is a wake word detector. In my case, I have kept wake word as python. As soon as I will say it, it will respond to me. So let's check it out. Python. Python. Hello, what can I do for you? Hello, what can I do for you? So I have said two times that's why it, uh, it has responded me for two times. So in both the cases it has more than 99% of accuracy that a specific audio contains his wake word. So this can be extensively used in chatbots for waking them up and start the speech recognition. So let's build this thing with TensorFlow from scratch. Google Assistant, Alexa and Siri all use vague words. You call Google Assistant by saying OK Google. After that it starts listening to you. So you can ask it whatever you want. OK Google is nothing but a vague word. The whole day we are blabbering many of the words which are ignored by the assistant. It is only programmed to listen whenever its vague word is said. Now you will be wondering why we need a wake word in the first place. So the thing is whenever you say the wake word from that moment all the audio is sent to the cloud for speech to text. And speech to text is a computationally intensive task so you cannot send every second of audio to the cloud. Also it is a serious breach of privacy. But wake word detection breaks this barrier. It enables us to send only the audio fragment which the user wants it to and hopefully servers are also relieved. Let us now implement this thing with TensorFlow from scratch. To achieve it, I have split the project into 5 different files. The first file is preparing data.py in which we have to collect the data of us saying the wake word for around 100 times and also the sound that do not contain the wake word. We will discuss this more during the making. The second file is preprocessing.py in which we will preprocess our audio files. The third is training.py in which we will train our neural network using TensorFlow. Fourth is prediction.py which is obvious we will be evaluating our model. And the last is runparallel.py which I will discuss with you guys later in the video. Now let us talk about data. In this project we will be creating data on our own so we have to label it too. That's why we will label the sounds which contain the wake word as 1 and the one which does not contain the wake word will be marked as 0. So this is a binary classification problem. Let us now dive into the coding part. Now we will create all the necessary files as discussed. Now it's time to create our preparing data.py. We will first start writing all the imports. Sound device is used for recording our sounds and make a numpy array of it. After that, scipy.io.wav file write will take that numpy array and save it as a wav audio file. Then we will make two functions. The first is for recording the sounds which contain wake word and saving them as a wav file and the second is the record background sound function which does the pretty much same thing but it is designed for recording the background sounds so our model can classify between normal background sound and the sound which contains wake word. Now we will start writing our record audio and save function. First we will write an input to tell the user that as soon as they will click on it audio recording will start. It is just a checkpoint. Now this function takes two parameters, save path and end times. Save path is the path to the empty directory where it should save all the audio files and end time is the number of times it should record you. Default is set to 100 which means that for loop will run 100 times recording you saying the wake word. Let's build the for loop now. It takes some constant values which are fs, 
मीनिंग सैम्पल रेट एंड सेकेंड्स विच इज़ द नंबर ऑफ सेकेंड्स ऑफ द ऑडियो फाइल सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द गूगल सैम्पल रेट इज हाउ मेनी टाइम्स पर सेकेंड द साउंड शुड सैम्पल्ड इट इज़ लाइक फ्रेम्स इन द वीडियो बट इन ऑडियो इट इज सैम्पल रेट एंड इट इज यूजली केप टू फोर फोर वन जीरो जीरो हर्ड्स नाउ वी विल रिकॉर्ड टू सेकेंड्स ऑफ ऑडियो बाई यूजिंग साउंड डिवाइस एंड सेकेंड्स इन टू एफ एस मीन्स द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स इन एन ऑडियो फाइल If you multiply fs by three, that means it will end up making an audio file of three seconds. And then we will also specify some other parameters like channels is equal to two means dual sound. SD dot wait will wait for the recording to be finished. And now write will save my recording, which is a numpy array to a wav audio file. The first parameter is the file name. In our case, I am making an empty directory named audio data, in which we will save our files. But in every iteration, there should be a unique file name. That's why I am adding save path with string i, because in every iteration there is a unique value of i. The second parameter is sample rate, and third is numpy array of recording, which I have given. Now at the end of every iteration I am adding one more input because we have to save wake word for around 100 times so if we get exhausted our function will wait for us until we press enter so now we will have successfully made the record audio and save function and now I will copy this entire thing and paste it into the second function because everything remains exactly the same except that last input because this function will automatically record our background song you have to just leave it running For my second function, I will make one more empty directory named background sound, in which we will save all background sounds. Now it's time to run this function and prepare the data. So let me demo it to you how it will run. So as soon as I press the enter, it record the sound coming from my mic and save it as 0.wav in the audio data directory. And if I press enter again, it will do the same thing, but now it has created 1.wav and you have to do it 100 times. For background sound, it will run automatically and will not wait for input as you can see. Now we are done with our preparing data.py file. For this project, I have decided to keep wake word to be simply python. and then i record myself saying python 100 times this is all my recorded audio files let's head towards pre processing this audio files so we can train them for pre processing dot py i will make some imports which you will understand as i will use them First I will pre-process only the 1.wav from the background sound directory so you can visualize how we will be doing it librosa.load takes the path of an audio file and return the numpy array and sample rate of it and then I will plot it using matplotlib
and then I will also extract MFCC of that audio file and plot it to using matplotlib. I will run the file. So this is how our waveform of 1.web looks like. And this is the MFCC. If you don't know what MFCCs are, it is Mel Frequency Capstone Coefficients. For further reading, I will suggest this medium article, link in the description. Now we will do the pre-processing thing for every audio file. For that, I have created an empty list named all data. After that, I will create a dictionary that will contain a class label and absolute path of every file in respective directories. As discussed previously, for background sound, class label is 0 and for audio, containing wake word has class label 1. Then we will iterate over every element in our dictionary which will give us the class label and the list of files. For single file in list of files, we'll give single single file for pre-processing. Let's apply the pre-processing, we will do the same thing as we did before, loading with Librosa, then applying MFCC. But one more step added here is MFCC processed, in which I am taking mean for reducing the dimensions of our data. And finally, I will append it in the empty list all data. After the for loop has run successfully, I will create a pandas data frame of the final data which we have appended then i will create one more directory named final audio data csv in which i will save this data frame so we can access it during the training phase Now it's time to run the file and pre-process all the data. It has successfully pre-processed class label 0 and class label 1, 2. It has also saved the CSV. This CSV will not be human readable as I have pickled and saved. If you will save it as a normal CSV, if you will save it as a normal CSV, it will lose its all property. As we have pre-processed, it's time for training which we will be doing in the next video. Until then, stay tuned.